time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit the subscribe button. It's down there somewhere. Somewhere down there. Hit it and hit the little notification bells while you're at it. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G E E K L Y Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's Crazy Amanda Reacts on TikTok too. And it's time to get this reaction video started. Oh, wait. It's a movie review. Last week, y'all, I went and took my daughter to a sneak peek. So it was for it's for a new Netflix movie, which is neat because we don't really get to see those in the theater. So it's a new Netflix to All the Boys. P.S. I love you. You know, it's the actual sequel to All the Boys I've Loved. I love the first one. I did, even though it's kind of a teen film that's just lovey, sweet, and you know, it's it's the, one of those that's just gonna gush over. The teen girl's gonna gush over. I love the first and one. And I'm going to tell you, the sequel to All the Boys I Love Before, which is All the Boys, P.S. I Love You, is even better. I enjoyed it so much more. It brought, you know, just the loveness of it back, the, the heartfelt stuff. It, it picked up where she started dating the, the guy, what's his name, Peter, right? She started dating him. It picked up from that, so they're dating. And it's a new relationship, and she's, it's because she's never really had a boyfriend before, so she's just trying to get used to the new relationship and everything. And she's having her insecurities because, you know, he was with, what's her name for so long before that. So she's always comparing herself to all that. And and then in a little plot twist turns up because the John Ambrose, who was the one that she wrote those love letters to, well, he actually got a letter and wrote her back and that's when things took a twist. This sequel is more about being in a relationship and the the things that could happen in it the the hardships the complications and seeing it through and seeing if your love will last well does it i'm not gonna tell you i ain't gonna tell you but i'm just gonna say it's one of those movies that's the love triangle kind of movie all right it has the love triangle aspect and it's just it's just sweet and it gets in to more complex issues when you're dealing with love and even teen love. I know people will be like, oh, they're too young. What is she supposed to be like 16, 17 and, and want to talk about love? But I know, listen, I was that age once before and I know how your, the mind thinks and the heart feels. I went to see the movie, like I said, in the theaters and it was a theater full of teens, preteens. And let me tell you how fun it was. Because the whole time they were on, they were they were yelling at the screen, yelling at the guys, yelling at the girls, like they got into it. So I know this is gonna be one the teens just love again. So I give it a nine out of ten on the on the preteen teen rating scale. There, this is gonna be a hit for Netflix. Another hit. The first one was a hit. This is gonna be another hit. And uh, I say, even for the adults, they're gonna enjoy it too. So let me know what you think, comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time, y'all.